You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 10. Found the mercy of God and realized how important life was. People across central Illinois are speaking out after learning the Supreme Court could be overturning Roe v. Wade, a reproductive rights measure that gives women the option to have an abortion if they choose. Good evening. I'm McLeod Hegemano. And I'm Marley Capper. Many pro-choice protests took place across the country and here in central Illinois, including the Champaign County Courthouse. But not all people were upset with the court's opinion. We talked with one mother who says her decision caused her grief for years. It's a chant heard around the country, my body, my choice. signifying unity among people over an idea. Do if they attack, we fight back. The right to choose. Abortion rights are human rights. Reverend Leah Roberts Moser, pastor of Community United Church of Christ, says she is pro-choice and wants to support people's rights to health care. I think it's important that we come together as neighbors and as a community to help care for one another. A one champagne mother says abortion is a topic she knows all too well. I got pregnant my senior year of college. My boyfriend was in the military. Jessica McMahon says she was always pro-life. And I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Nobody told me about insurance. Nobody told me other options. But she says fear drove her to getting the procedure. It was a very traumatic experience for me. Now she wants others to know there are lasting impacts beyond the procedure. It doesn't take away the baby. The baby is there. The, you are a mother from conception and it just adds to the pain. Since then, she's found healing through her faith. God uses everything for good. Reverend Roberts Moser says while she recognizes children are a gift from God, she believes anyone with a uterus should have a say in what happens with their body. I'm part of a Christian tradition that has fought for and worked for reproductive rights, including abortion rights. Um, uh, they've done that for, for over 60 years. McMahon says since going through an abortion, her beliefs in pro-life have been cemented further. McMahon says she contacted her former boyfriend, and after all this time, he's still dealing with the emotional trauma of it all.